This is how desperation can lead to destruction. Sometimes, when we have great need, or desires, desperation may come in, and lead people to make risky choices. This can happen to some Christians, and in their search for relief, or fulfillment, might fall into the devil's traps unknowingly. Desperation can show up in many forms, ranging from money problems, health issues, or even relationships. When prayers seem unanswered and hope fades, the temptation to find miraculous solutions is almost inevitable. In these vulnerable moments, the devil often uses these situations as traps to take control of one's life. Kindly watch till the end. God bless you. Sister Mercy, I want to commend you for your good works and steadfastness towards the work of God. I admire your love for God and how you are always coming to help out in church. I pray that you continue to do the work of God and God will surely bless you. Pastor, thank you. I love doing the work of God because it makes me happy and I feel like that's what I live for. If I don't do the work of my Father what else will I do? My dear, I will encourage you to keep doing the Lord's work. His glory is obviously all over you. Look at you, you have a good job, a house of your own and you are doing so well. A lot of young women want to be like you. Is it not obvious that God is good to you? Pastor you are right, I can't deny the fact that God is really blessing me. I have almost everything I need in life. Except for one thing which I am still praying for. And what could that be? A husband. Pastor I really want to settle down. I need a man that I can call my own. I am almost 40 and still single. I don't know why I am still single. My dear, don't worry. I am sure that God is cooking someone very good for you. Just relax there's a man for every woman and one day, your man will find you, marry you and you will be happy. I hope so, I really can't wait. I am tired of being single, look at all my mates, they are with children, living a very happy life with their husband. But I am still living a lonely life. I am trying my best not to lose my mind. Next week is Amy's wedding ceremony, she is the last of my friend that will be getting married. And I am even older than her. I need my own husband. I want to settle down like my mates. I will soon get to menopause and I don't even have a child of my own. Maybe I was been too selective. I have to be more open now. All those guys I turned down years ago thinking they are not good for me. I wish one of them can come back and ask for my hand in marriage now. I will gladly marry him and rest, so that I can serve my God with peace of mind knowing that I have all I need as a woman. I can see that that lady's God cannot give her a husband after everything she does for him. And she is always disturbing my kingdom with her prayers and converting my members to her God. She is a distraction to my people. She has stolen so many young women from me. She has used her prayers to set some of my captives free. She has been a problem to my kingdom for so long now. Now she is desperate for a husband. This is my opportunity to destroy her. I have been trying to punish her for so long now, but I always fail because of her prayers. But now is the perfect time. I will use her desperation and get into her life and destroy her completely. I will plant a man in her life as a husband. I will send one of my agents. At this she is vulnerable and can easily be used. Yes, I will make good use of this chance. I will place one of my finest agents of destruction in her life and before she will know, she is ruined. Then I can have some peace. Hi Mercy, how are you? Hi, but who are you? And how did you know my name? My name is Ben and I have seen you in church a couple of times. You attend same church? Not really, but I visit your church once in a while, whenever I am in town. Oh, okay, that nice. Whenever I come to your church, I can't help but notice you. And I have come to like you a lot. Yes, in fact there is no need to beat around the bush. I came to make my intentions known to you. What intentions? I like you and I want to marry you. Oh really, that's quite too sudden. Anyways I will think about it and get back to you. Okay, no problem. You can think about it and give me a reply. I will call you. Okay, 
Have a nice day. Oh wow, it looks like my prayers has already been answered. Oh wow, so finally I will become someone's wife. Pastor God has finally done it. You sound very excited. What is it? I might be getting married very soon. Oh wow. Really? Yes, Pastor. A young man approached me today and proposed marriage. I told him to give me some time to think about it. But deep down in my heart I already know that I will accept his proposal because this has been my heart desires for a long time now. How long have you known this man? I just met him today. You just met him today and you are already sure you want to marry him? What do you know about him? Is he born again? I actually don't know much about him, but he sure knows a lot about me. In fact he said he has been seeing me in church. That means he is a good Christian. He goes to church is not enough reason to marry him. You know nothing about this young man and you are already sure of him. I think you should seek the face of God about this first. Pastor for days now, I have been praying fervently about marital settlement. In fact last night I prayed and asked God to send my husband to my direction and just this morning my prayers got answered. Is this not a sign? It's obvious that God has answered my prayer. Well, of you say so. But I still think you should pray about it before saying yes to him. And also take some time to know him. Pastor I have prayed about it. This is the result of my prayers. Okay. Ben why are you still in bed? We are almost running late to church. Hurry up and get dressed let go to church. I don't think I can be able to make it to church today, I am feeling sick. I can't even get out of the bed. Oh okay, sorry about it. Have some medications and rest. I will go alone. You are going to leave me here all by myself. I am sick and you have to stay back and take care of me. Honey I need to go to church today since we got married I have not been able to go to church because we traveled for our honeymoon. Besides I have some things I need to talk to my pastor about. Honey is your pastor more important to you than me? Do you will prefer going to church to staying back to take care of your sick husband? No dear, don't say that. Okay I will stay back and take care of you. I hope you are happy now. Thank you for staying back. I am very sure that I will feel better with you around. Honey what are you doing here? I am trying to catch up with the church service on TV. I thought you said you were going to be with me. Instead you are here watching TV. I am not just watching TV, I am fellowship. I am watching the church service online. I am still in so much pain and you care more about watching this service. What will happen if you miss the service today? Okay, fine. You don't need to start complaining again. I will just put off the TV and come to the room with you. El Shady El Shady, Elohim and Adonai, age to age you are still the same, by the power of your name, El Shady El Shady Elohim and Adonai, I will praise and lift you high, El Shady. Heavenly Father I thank you for the gift of life, thank you for family, thank you for good health, thank you for sound mind. May your name be highly praised. Father I ask that you renew. Honey what are you doing? I am praying, give me a second. A second, but you know that I have to go to work. And my food is not ready yet. Your food is ready. I already packed them up. You packed rice. I don't feel like having rice today. I need chips and chicken. You should have told me on time. You know I am going to work too. And I need to pray before going out. Instead of wasting more time praying, why not go into the kitchen and fix up something? We are running late. Okay, I will go fix you chips and chicken. Thank you my dear, that's why I love you so much. You are the best. Pastor thank you so much for coming, I really appreciate your presence. What do I offer you? Don't bother, I am fine. I came here because I have been worried about you. You have not been coming to church, you no longer join in soul winning and you don't even come for prayer meetings. What is happening? This is really unlike you. What is going on? Pastor nothing is wrong, I have just been too busy lately. That is why I have not been coming to church. No matter how busy you are, 
I think you should always make out time for God. You were never like this. You have suddenly changed after marriage. Do not let marriage come in between your relationship with God. Because your relationship with God is the most important one. Pastor I understand what you are saying, but trust me my marriage is not a barrier. I have just been busy lately, but I will try and improve. Okay I hope to see you in church on Wednesday for midweek service. Try not to miss it for anything. Okay, I won't. I will take my leave now. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. This so-called man of God is trying to convince my wife again. I won't let him again. If I let him have his way then her eyes may open to see what I am really doing. I have to act fast and stop my wife from having any form of communication with him. I know what to do. Honey I want you to get dressed up, I am taking you out this evening. Oh really, but I am going to the church now, we have a midweek service today. Come on baby, you can skip today's service. I want to go spoil my wife today. And there will be no excuses. Okay, so where are we going to? It's a surprise. Just wear the clothes I got for you. They are on the bed. Okay, no problem. Honey these clothes are too skimpy for me. I am so uncomfortable in them. Besides I don't think they are moderate. Honey you look so beautiful in them. I love them so wear them. Okay, if you say so. Honey you didn't tell me you were bringing me to a club. Yes, I didn't tell you because you might object it. I just want to show you another kind of life that you don't know. But I don't like going to the club. It's against my faith. Relax, there is both thing wrong with it. Besides you are here with your husband. Let's have some wine. It's alcoholic, I don't take alcohol. Come on dear, just a little won't hurt. Besides I am here with you. Come on, let's have some good time. Okay. Come on baby, let's dance. Honey my head aches. Don't worry you will be fine. Just have some sleep by morning you will be alright. I hope you had a great time. Of course, I had fun. I will like to go there more often. Now that's the spirit. This is the life I want you to rock. Don't be too uptight with your faith. Enjoy my world and have fun. Finally, I have succeeded in taking this soul for myself. A soul has been lost in heaven. She is now one of us. She no longer disturbs me with her prayers. She no longer wins souls for the church, and she no longer help in the work of God. She is now a candidate of hell. This is how I will keep luring desperate ladies into my kingdom in the name of marriage and relationships. Both men will not be spared. I will not stop until the kingdom of heaven is empty. And there are no souls left for their God. Out of desperation, some Christians go into marriages that ruin their relationship with God and on the long run finally destroys them. The devil is like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. And his target is always on those who are steadfast in God's work. He tends to destroy their relationship with God and steal their soul. As Christians we must be very careful what we wish for and always consult God in prayers before we make any decision in our lives. Please share this video to your family and friends. It could be of help and a reminder to someone. Also kindly subscribe to the channel, like our video and leave your contributions or experiences in the comments section so that someone can learn from it. Do not forget to turn on notification to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you. Bye.